uh, as nurses, I would say, and then Julie, one of the first things we learn how to do is rub our patients' backs because it's going to make them feel better. And so I've seen for many years how a simple massage would make someone manage their pain better, sleep better, feel better all over. And it's making me feel better. The power of touch is very healing, and I, I think it goes back through our entire history. <laughs> found a little bit of um, fluid in the upper respiratory system, which correlates with what you said, that yes, you're having allergies, so that makes sense. Um, so, you have many organs, blood flow, lymphatic flow, all through the feet, that helps our clients. It's painless, it feels good, it's not the price of a car, and you're going to walk out feeling better. So if you're going to do this or get an ice cream, I would do this. <laughs> you ought to spend a few I'll dollars and a few minutes just huh? on yourself. Yeah, you feel that. That way. you benefit from that the rest of the day, maybe the rest is of the week. Is that where my back is? Um, when you can spend your money on, you know, buying a shirt or whatever, but this is something just only for you. But the best thing you can do for your body is to help it rebalance itself and to work on the body, getting the blood flow, lymphatic system and organs, the oxygen to rejuvenate. I come with no expectations. Uh, you really, if you've never experienced this before, uh, come with an open heart and you know be willing to be open to new things that are potentially going to surprise you. The, uh, having never experienced anything like reflexology, it is going to be something like you've never experienced before, so you know, just be open and receptive to something new. That's why, because you sleep in the booth, we massage this point, but it's ouch, ouch. <laughs>
you see Lily doing shiatsu on the client. She's working with the pressure points throughout the body, on the lower back, upper shoulders. She uses the pressure of her feet and holds her weight by the bars on the ceiling, therefore creating pressure, deep pressure where it is needed and light pressure where the body only needs light pressure. As you can see with Lily's amazing Shiatsu massage, using the heel of her foot for deep pressure, the ball of her foot for lighter pressure, going over the body and scanning it to see where the deep pressure and light pressure is needed. Lily's feet keep her in tune to her client's body. They are like her hands. So as she feels the client's body, with her foot, she'll know light pressure, deep pressure, and where to go next in the body. It's a different uh, Swedish. Our clamp, no need to uh, take off for clothes. They yeah, close. They can. It's more acupressure massage. Yeah, they can leave clothes. Mm -hmm. And then we do a lot of stretch. See, stretch. Lot of stretch. Oh, too much water. See, stretch. Now I want to show you the Titanic, like a Titanic. Very deep. Please hold my hand. Ah, oh, see, there we go. You can do this one more time, okay? Smile! Smile! <laughs> it's good? Mm -hmm. Wonderful! Okay. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. Stretch. This is a Thai massage. So a lot of uh, clamps, they look for, you know, Thai massage. Yes, more stretch. Now you can see Lily in our private massage room. She is now doing a acupressure massage. We offer many different massage modalities here. Acupressure, shiatsu, aromatherapy. Um, we have guests, massage therapists coming all the time with different modalities. In the private room, it can be used for an individual or we can do couples. Right now she's working on a client um, releasing the tension in the lower back using acupressure points in the lower back and the glutus. Raking the body that wakes up all the cells and stimulates the blood flow. Knuckle walking along the spine. Breaking the body in a Chinese massage um, is very important to get all the nerve endings um, to receive the oxygen. using the elbow for a little deeper massage in the acupressure points.
Thai massage is quite different than like a Swedish massage because it goes into um, it several inches deeper into the skin as she's putting pressure on the acupressure points. A Swedish massage just kind of wakes up the cells where the Thai massage goes into a deeper muscle tissue. We're now stretching the feet and the legs. Working on the heel, feet, and of course the feet, which is so key to our existence. It carries us through our life. Rocking. Rock. Yeah, rocking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make a uh, relaxing. Mm -hmm. Very Relaxes relaxing. you. As you rock the body, it makes the bot the muscles, nerves, tendons all rela relax. Good, good time. Yeah. Yeah. Because say and, again. Yeah. Because they can Ro rocking the body. Yeah. Relax the muscles and nerves and tendons in the body. So therefore, when you want to do it a deeper massage, you've already relaxed muscles. Yeah, massage is the culture, like uh, you know, everybody they go to temple, go to church, you know, but I think uh, your body is temple, your body is a, a church, you know, you must take care every day, every moment. And healthy. Number one. In the world, only your body is yours. Nothing is yours. Yeah, that's true. And the only you use your body, you know, every day, every night, <laughs> every moment. So invest for your body and spoil your body. It's very important for everybody.